Ok, c'est parti. Donc je reprends. Je suis donc Alan Stéphane. Ok, so I'm Alan Stéphane from the Marmite de Lanig, which would be the Lanig Cauldron. Nous sommes deux Bretons. So we're two people from Brittany, and you can see even the the son and the father, and a lot of uh, energy here. So I'm going to talk about a vegetable that's not very well known, but is very present for us. Uh, seaweed. I'm a, an agri-food engineer, and I had the idea to launch a product that would help us eat more, have a healthier diet. I mean, you know, I always, I've always been familiar with seaweed, but I always thought about um, those when you go swimming. I've eaten them with sushi, but then I was thinking, why shouldn't we eat more homegrown seaweed? They're here, they're available in our um, in our seas, on our seaside, and they're very healthy. So we wanted to develop a product that would include seaweed in our normal eating. I talked to my dad about it, and he said, let's do it. So we started by tasting them raw, and that's when we said, mm, okay, kind of good, but very surprising when you taste them. How can we ad adapt those to people's current uh, eating habits? A little to the west, we had a, a study at Agro Campus West, and we conducted a study looking at how uh, available they were. Nobody knew where to buy them or how to cook them. There's a proposition, but that's a niche for uh, connoisseurs. And then there was apprehension. People aren't used to the taste of uh, seaweed. So, like a lot of people, when there's something new, they're afraid of it. So they're very nutritionally rich, a lot of protein, vitamins, minerals, as I was saying, sustainable for the production. There's no soft water, uh, fresh water uh, consumption, no pesticides, no fertilizers. But and consumers do tend to have a good answer, a good, uh, sorry, opinion of them. Good, uh, they're good for your health, they're natural, and they're nutritionally rich. And I thought, well, aren't we missing out on something and future gen something for future generations? So we created these vegetarians and bio aux algues bretonnes de la So we created these. It's uh, seaweed with uh, cereals and legumes and, and lemon juice. And to reduce apprehension, we selected them and the percentage that we would include and the incorporation with other uh, foodstuffs. They're complete, nutritional, low salt, and low additives for healthy eating. So we went for the uh, ready-to-eat uh, dishes uh, to eat them, to increase uh, accessibility, just to have to heat them up. We have these uh, packs, and these, are, these already have a good image for uh, organic consumers. So easy to use, easy to store. This has also increased the access. It's sterilized, so it can be uh, stored for two years at room temperature. Um, the active ingredients, or, 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 these are for active people who um, want to eat healthy but don't have a lot of time to cook. It's really new because no one has done this yet. Three uh, seaweed from Brittany that they were selected for their organoleptic characteristics. We have the... Um, uh, sea bean, and we have kombu royal, which is brown there, and for its uh, salty taste, iode taste, iodine taste, and you have the dose, which is a text, it has a subtle, subtle texture and a pronounced taste. We included those in recipe, recipes that uh, make it a greater quantity than a condiment, but with reasonable amounts there to get the customers used to these new tastes. So we were trying to have a palette, an array of uh, flavors here for different tastes. And we are available in 40 supermarkets, 35 in uh, um, Brittany, 15 in uh, Paris, and over the internet, six months uh, currently marketing, um, 3,000. We plan to double our volumes in the next six months. And we're hoping for national coverage by 2019. We're working on other distribution models, such as uh, home delivery. So we are planning to have three new recipes between now and the end of the year.
And we'll even have a dessert for you in 2019. Thank you for listening. Any questions? Okay, you talked about the percentage. It's reasonable in terms of the amount of seaweed in the dishes. How much? What's that reasonable percentage? Well, in the five recipes, we have between 5 and 12 percent of seaweed. So we uh, tested uh, with the uh, consumers we with 9 percent in the beginning. And during the taste panels, you had some consumers who said it was a bit too strong. So then we dropped it down to seven. Any other questions? Thank you very much. And if you want to meet us, we're on stand X38 in the Food Tech Corner. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Alors, je sais pas si d'autres euh, les autres startups sont. I don't know if the other startups are here. Yeah, because we uh, changed the order a bit. Hello everyone, I'm Guillaume. I'm a president of Gallimate, holding up for the tech guys. Donc re bonjour. Et euh, donc moi je vais vous présenter euh, la boisson Gallimaté. Hello, I'll be talking donc, about euh, Gallimaté, uh, beverage. It's based on malt, based on mate. Now it's uh, from uh, the Amazon region. And so we've produced a uh, carbonated drink, so 15 calories per 100 milliliters, which is three times less than a Coke. So mate is a drink that's bitter, normally, traditionally, but to make it uh, more thirst quenching and easier to drink, we um, sweeten it with agave, cereal, and, uh, and gumbava, which is a Southeast Asia a uh, little lime there, an elderflower. So, give you some details here. We produce this in France in a plant in the Limoges region. So, uh, we have the glass, we're going to have plastic format coming out in uh, June 2018 with some different flavors, uh, lemonade, ginger ale, and uh, uh, more like a tonic water for cocktails. So what is mate? It's a type of a tea bush uh, in tropical regions. Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, north of Argentina. It's uh, usually uh, drunk in this little calabas. And it's, in, it's infused, it's brewed like tea. So it's very complex, though, to prepare it. It's also a drink that expresses sharing. It's a uh, national drink, and it's uh, to be shared and enjoyed by families. Lots of uh, um, properties. It's um, a strength of coffee with the benefits of tea and the uh, uh, euphoria of chocolate. So contrary, the caffeine, though, is uh, more slowly absorbed by the body. So less strong energy, but lasts longer. Vitamins and minerals. You can see the list here. A, B1, B2, B3, B5, C, and E. Minerals. It has uh, natural antioxidants that protect the body from stress and cancer, right? Uh, and aids in the regeneration and recovery after uh, exertion. So it helps burn... Uh, uh, calories and Donc, reduce the um, absorption of uh, fat. So when can you drink it? Different times during the day? Lunchtime when you want an alternative to alcohol or soda that are too sweet? When you want a drink that doesn't uh, compete with the um, flavor of what you're eating? Because the bubbles are very fine. Or sometimes in the afternoon if you need a pickup. Or if you're just sitting uh, outside on the terrace with friends. And it's very refreshing. It also works well in cocktails, either before drinks or uh, when out on the town. So we're available mostly in Paris right now, ca in cafes, hotels, restaurants, um, gourmet food stores, co-working spaces, 
uh, about 40 to 50 places across Paris. I don't have the figures yet, but very soon we'll be in the southwest Bordeaux, Biarritz, Toulouse region, and soon we'll be in the supermarkets. And if you're in wherever you are, if you're interested, come check us out at X38 stand and uh, stand X38 at the food corner. So that's us. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. So that was very clear. No need for questions. Now, any other startups? I don't have the program here. Did we cover everyone?